Gratitude is a felt sense of wonder, thankfulness, and appreciation for life. Unlock possibilities by changing your mindset. You will expand what's possible for you, for the ones around you, for the world. You're moving into a land of both blind spots and learning, of things and ideas. You just crossed over into the mindset zone. Join your guide, Anna Malikia, founder of Solo Biz Academy, the director of education for Book Yourself Solid and a PhD in psychology. The show you are about to listen is backed by popular demand from the Mindset Zone Archive Vault. To get all new episodes, make sure you subscribe via your favorite podcast app and visit mindset.zone. Yes, instead of .com, it's .zone. There you can find the episode archive, show notes, and other amazing resources, including how to four times your success so you can work smarter, not harder, and learn how to leverage your talents to make a bigger impact while enjoying the process. All at Mindset.Zone. I'm Anna Malikian here. And today I would like to focus on something very meaningful for me. And I think that most people will agree how important it is to be grateful. And nowadays we even have research in psychology that supports the power of gratitude. I recommend uh, a book called The How of Happiness. Uh, the author is Sonia Luborminsky, and uh, she has a full chapter dedicated to this, ch uh, to this topic. And the book is very interesting in many different ways, and I will be referring to it uh, during the today episode. And I love uh, one of the definitions that she uses there that is from one of the world leading experts on gratitude. His name is Robert Emmons and that define gratitude, that gratitude is a felt sense of wonder, thankfulness and appreciation for life. I repeat. Gratitude is a felt sense of wonder, thankfulness, and appreciation for life. Love this definition of gratitude. And uh, Sonia Lubrominski, in her book, uh, she shares m many of the multiple benefits that positive psychology research supports. We know that to practice and express gratitude towards yourself and others really promote things like the savoring of positive life experience. You are going to enjoy more life more. It boosts self-esteem in yourself and in the others that receive uh, the gratitude. Uh, help us coping with stress, inspires kind and caring behavior, we can better people, helps build social bounds and strengthen relationships, counteracts the effects of negative emotions, and the list goes on. There is no doubt that we know from personal experience that gratitude is a good thing and research, research supports that. Yet, like for instance, I always think about self-employed professionals because it's the people that I work 
in my business is helping self-employed professionals, uh, developing an online presence and getting more clients. So I'm always thinking how these concepts are relevant to them. And most of the my clients, the ones that I love to work with, work, work with uh, have this mission of making a difference. And they recognize the power of gratitude. They know it. Yet many don't know how to cultivate this as a habit in their daily lives. One thing is recognizing the importance of something. Another thing is doing it in a regular base, in a way that makes a difference in our lives. So, and and there is another aspect here because I I refer in in the episode eight of this podcast that is very easy for anybody to focus on negative emotions. They are very strong and they are totally designed to capture our attention. And while we are stuck on a negativity reactivity cycle, it's difficult to be grateful. So for people that is, uh, uh, is for them is easy to stay in that reactivity cycle is really a challenge to practice gratitude. So I really suggest if you feel that that is you, or even if you feel that you are a person that uh, are usually very grateful and manage to express and practice that, there is an exercise that is suggested again in the book, The How of Happiness, that I challenge you to try for a week and see the results. It's very simple. The first thing that you have to do is to pick a specific time to do this every day during seven days. For instance, I like to do it before I go to bed. It's when everything is calm, I can relax, And I'm a night person by nature, so it's easy for me to do this before I go to bed. Some people love to do it first thing in the morning. Whatever works for you, just pick a specific time to do this for seven days. That is the intention. Then when it arrives to that specific time, intentionally stop everything that you are doing and think about three to five things for which you are grateful and be specific focus on unique experience that happened recently it's very easy when people ask uh, ask us what are you grateful for uh, we say, oh, my family, uh, my having my house, having my business. And of course, we are grateful for all these things. But this exercise is more powerful if you are specific and focus on something unique that happened recently, maybe in the day before uh, that week. And it can be mundane things, Uh, things like, oh, I really enjoy the smell and the taste of the coffee this morning. A small experience that we flavor and we enjoy and we are grateful for. And we remember in that moment and we bring that experience back to us. Or we think about that email that we received that day or in the day before, uh, uh, thanking us about something or showing appreciation or acknowledging something that we did. And we flavor that. 
Of course, if something extraordinary happens in our lives recently, we should also focus on that. It will be one of the things that we recognize, that we think, and we are grateful for. Um, <laughs> things like, uh, I was there when my child gave her first step yesterday. Or uh, I was there, I'm so happy to see my niece graduating for high school. Or just to give a real example of yesterday, uh, I, my daughter is five. Um, and almost six, like she always liked to remind me, and she almost losing one tooth. And uh, so I, I'm grateful for being there for her and see her enjoying the thrill of losing her first tooth. So that is specific, is unique, uh, can be a small milestone, a big milestone, or something mundane, like uh, another example from her, when uh, that uh, I gave her a kiss in a chick this morning, and she told me, oh, give him that a chick, because this chick is sad, if you don't give it a kiss too. So that's small moments that you flavor, and you are grateful for, and you can think about. Then after thinking about doing these seven days, and if you only have three, stay with that three things. If you can think about five, great. And then write them down. If you journal, write it in your journal, that three to five items that you are grateful for. If you don't have a journal, you don't have to go and buy one, only if you want to start journaling. You can use your calendar, even the one in the computer, if you use a computer to keep all your agenda organized or open a document, whatever, a piece of paper that you are going to do for this week, just write it down. Something, a couple of words that brings that experience to your mind. And like I said before, do this for seven days for a week and flavor the effects of doing this, this experience. And maybe you will be positively surprised with some of the results of doing this. Just notice. This is my challenge to you for seven days. And after that week, you can adapt this activity as it seems fit for you. That is one of the things that I love in the book of the How of Happiness, that she underlines this a lot. There are many exercises out there, there are many ways of being grateful, many inspirations that you get out there. And if you look on the web, you find many ideas, but you have to decide what works for you, what makes sense for you. And sometimes something works for us during a time and then we have to switch, create something different. So play with it. Some people, for instance, decide just to write one thing they are grateful for on their calendar. So every day they put like the event of the day, something that they are grateful for, small, big, just one positive thing. Other people journal about, they write a lot about the experience that they are grateful. And the, every day some people, otherwise only once a week, they sit, they have their time for journaling and they write about the things that they are grateful in the past week. And others, they continue to do this exercise of the three to five things a day. Whatever works for you that helps you cultivate this sense of gratitude, of practicing. And then you can go and on to the next step that is expressing the gratitude for toward others. That is also something very interesting to do when we are grateful for something that some, uh, someone does for us. Tell them that in an intentional way. So I love to hear your comments and what you learn about doing this or even just thinking about this, thinking about the possibilities. 
as always, you can go and find the show notes that will have the link for the book, The Hour of Happiness. We'll have this exercise described again with the like first step, start picking a specific time to do this exercise. Step two, think about three or five things for which you are grateful. Step three, write these three or two, five items in your journal or in as a note in your calendar. Step for do this activity for a week and and then adapt it step five uh, is step five is then adapted after the first week so all that is summarizing in the show notes uh, like always is nmalikian.com forward slash in this case nine so n Malikian is M E L I K I A N dot com, and N is just with one N, and number nine, that is the number of the episode. And keep sending your comments. I love to hear from you. I love to learn how this podcast is impacting your life, what you have learned from it. And if you have questions, if you like me to explore a specific topic, send me an email. I'm an email away. My email is anna, A-N-A, at annamalikin.com. Or you can phone me at 480-648-0656. And then you'll have a menu of options. And they, I think it's option number two. You can leave a message regarding this podcast. Thank you for listening. And remember to visit mindset.zone. Yes, instead of .com, it's .zone. There you can find all the episodes and other amazing resources, such as how to join the Mindset Zone community and how to four times your success so you can work smarter, not harder, and learn how to leverage your talents to make a bigger impact while enjoying the process. All at Mindset.Zone. As always, I'm so grateful that you have crossed over into the Mindset Zone. Spend what's possible for you, for the ones around you, for the world.